Dylan Raiola. His RPM is leaning heavily towards Georgia. What do we make of this? 70% on the RPM is leaning towards Georgia. Got USC in the mix. Got Nebraska in the mix. Rusty Mansell, like I just said a second ago, has joined on three. Put in a pick for Dylan Raiola first day on the job. And the, the biggest thing that we can say about this is where there's smoke, there's fire. Okay, what I've come to deduce from situations like this are nothing is clear until the kid himself makes a commitment but you, you trust the chatter just a little bit the whispers the picks the rpm it's all lean in georgia and it's not just lean in georgia like 40 percent. it's lean in georgia 70 percent. that means something okay rusty mansell doesn't just throw around picks if he's picking georgia for dylan riola i'm trusting that okay again it's not over till it's over but I'm trusting that. So what I think we need to, to look at here is what would this mean for Georgia? What would this mean for the dogs to land the number one quarterback in the 2024 cycle? To me, it just means you ensure that that quarterback room is going to be stocked well into the future. You got Ryan Puglisi committed right now in the 2024 cycle. You got Gunnar Stockton sitting back there in that quarterback room. Brock Vandergriff said he's staying for right now. Carson Beck, you assume is going to be your starting quarterback right now. But for the future, Stockton, Puglisi, Raiola, if they were all to be in that same quarterback room, that would be dangerous, man. That would be extremely dangerous. And I think when you look at Georgia, what has been evolving over the course of the last couple of years? What has really started to gain steam? It's that offense, right? It's the offense that has really started to evolve. The defense has really been solid for a minute here, but the offense has been vicious. I would say the offense is the reason why they won the national title a season ago. To me, that was what I thought about when I thought about Georgia hoisting that, that hardware. Stetson Bennett dealing. Brock Bowers splitting the safeties. And I think they're going to have a lot of weapons when it comes time for these guys to get on campus should Dylan Raiola commit to the dogs. But it just ensures that you have a quarterback that is not going to limit you offensively. As an offensive coordinator, if I'm Mike Bobo and I got Dylan Raiola playing quarterback for me, I'm thinking, okay, what do we want to call here? How do we want to attack this defense? Which is a very different mindset than an OC thinking, man, what can we call here? What are we able to call? Is our quarterback able to do X, Y, and Z? Dylan Raiola can make a lot of these big-time throws. A lot of off-platform throws. There's a reason why Charles Power, director of scouting and rankings here at On3, is high on him. Okay, and I'll be real with you. Charles Power don't miss. Men lie, women lie, Charles Power don't lie. Okay, so Dylan Raiola being able to do whatever you need a quarterback to do in this offense allows you then to maximize the skill players around him. Because there's going to be some skill players around Dylan Raiola. I promise you that. With the way that Georgia has recruited already, they're going to have some ballers around him. There's more to this, though. I'll tell you about it in just a second. Make sure you subscribe to the On3 YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. We appreciate y'all in advance for that. So like I said, there's already going to be a lot of talent around him if he were to commit. But if Dylan Raiola does commit, what did we see happen a summer ago? Arch Manning, it's breaking all over the news, is committed to Texas. Makes national headlines, big deal, big day for Texas. Awesome. They got their quarterback for the future. But that wasn't, that wasn't the, the biggest part of this. It's a big deal to get your quarterback. Don't get it twisted. But what I think is going to be most impactful for Texas in the future is who else came with Arch Manning. Because remember, we saw the avalanche of Texas commits after Arch Manning committed to the Longhorns. I think the same would be true should Dylan Raiola give his pledge to the Dogs. People want to play with stud quarterbacks, man. That's just the reality. There's a reason why these quarterbacks go off the board early in the recruiting cycle. Because coaching staffs know, hey, we get the quarterback, we got our centerpiece for the rest of the class. Top wide receivers, they want to play with quarterbacks like Dylan Raiola. Offensive linemen want to block for quarterbacks like Dylan Raiola. Heck, defensive players. I want to know that when I get a three and out and I give the ball back to my offense, we got a quarterback that's going to get us points. It's an avalanche effect. And that's what I think you could see and would see should Dylan Raiola end up committing to Kirby Smart and the Dogs. And I'm not going to spend too much time on the pitch that Georgia can make for Dylan Raiola. We've talked about that in multiple different videos. But to give you the summary, you go play for Kirby Smart, 
back-to-back national champion. You go play with the best players in the country with the level that Georgia recruits at. So you're on one of the best, if not the best roster in the country. You go play in the best conference in the country, which then in relation to that helps your draft stock because when it comes time for you to get drafted, there's no question around your level of competition and everyone's saying, yeah, he played in the SEC. I think he'll be okay. So for Dylan Raiola, again, the RPM is heavily leaning Georgia. Rusty Mansell put in the pick, 70% confidence level. I'm excited to see what happens here, but the top quarterback in the 2024 cycle currently is trending on the RPM towards Kirby Smart and the dogs. Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.